Ooh, that's right, a little preemptive there. Didn't even wait for the chorus. That's how crazy I am. Um, oops. So, uh, uh, as a follow-up kind of to yesterday, my devotion took me into, or back to, Psalms. And Psalms are great, P.S. If you're ever just looking for some, you know, if you're quote happy, if you're like, I like quotes by great people and great quotes about great things. Uh, Psalms is kind of chock full of them. It's real pretty and real cool and real practical. Um, this is pretty great because um, it's very much about me and at first I was just like, oh, this is good. This is a really excellent follow-up on, on uh, you know, what I was uh, focusing on and praying for yesterday. Uh, but it's even better. <laughs> uh, Psalm 123, 3. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorn of those who are at ease, with the contempt of the proud. Woke. Now, see, the first thing I was drawn to about that was like, and I was thinking about and, and kind of going through the devotion thing, was about... I was talking yesterday about how God wants to consecrate just all these things in our lives and like be a joyful part and help us like release and understand our intention not only just like cosmically in the grand sense in our relationship to him but our relationship to everything to all things little things all things great and small uh, like that veterinarian show um, uh, and then, but the flip side of that is if, if, sort of, if we don't allow those things to happen, that a lot of those things can become stopping blocks, or what's the word? I don't know. They, they can become obstructions uh, to our freedom, to our freedom, to our uh, understanding, to just our ability to, to love and, and pursue holiness. Because um, the cares of this world, though important to a degree and, and important as lessons, can so easily bog us down and become more important to us than even the truth that we know. I know this because I had this problem the other day, uh, and that's why this whole proud thing was very funny because definitely one of the things that I struggle with um, on this earth oft times is that, and have since I was young, is A, that sense of like, of envy, uh, you know, of, um, uh, of just even other people's like physical comfort levels, you know. Oh my gosh, their place is huge. How did they what? This place is amazing. Oh my gosh, to be able to stretch out. Wait, this is a separate room. They have storage. They have a garage. You know what I mean? All that like kind of silliness, really. But you just get ooh, you get oh, and you get kind of interested in it because you have your all your intentions of where you'd like to live someday, and you're like, oh man, this is totally like it. Oh, I wish they have it. Or and you get a little bummed out or whatever. They usually just just a bit of hey God take this away from me, we'll kick it out. But it doesn't. It keeps coming back. It keeps coming back. So there's something in my life that I still need to release. I still need to consecrate to Him about where I am. And same thing financially, where I've definitely been like Lord, wherever I am, just you know take care of me. I know you can make it all happen. I have big dreams about where I want to be in that realm. Um, and then and I was doing pretty good with it. And then we get this tax thing in the mail the other day that says, you know, we owe $5,000 and it might be right. And I was all like, it shook me. That, like, oh, and then I hadn't got a thing. I was on a veil for a commercial or whatever the, the, the day before, which I was actually totally cool with, but not didn't, was not even really dealing with it, I guess, because the next day with the tax thing, I was like, what? This is two things in a row. What in the world? What in the world? And then all of a sudden, your faith is shaken again. It's like, wait, no, no, this is a. These are all tests, and B, just what? What? what in, in times, it's been fallow previously. So, that, so just because it's going to get more fallow, does, does that mean you'd be shook? It doesn't make any sense. And then the last one, briefly, is also in here. And this, this scorn of those who are proud, is I've often struggled with my sense of injustice. Injustice is like. It was my favorite thing. It's why I wanted to be a superhero. I wanted to go persecute the unjust. Um, and though we are meant to be stanchions for justice and salt of the earth, preserving the world from becoming nastier, that's all of our jobs here, um, that ultimately there are many forms of injustice that, like I was talking about the other day, trying to stop taxes since they're more or less illegal. Um, <laughs> 
there's some things that just aren't that important. That is totally a cares of this world. And discerning that which is truly unjust, which some people are just like, oh, yeah, well, I don't know, leave me alone. I believe is a, it can be a gift, and it's a sensitivity of heart. But our job there is to love and to pray and to move in people's lives that they might overcome that, not to sit in anger and not to punish and not to criticize. Uh, those things are all kind of petty human things that I am today am looking to shed. And I'm wondering why this is all coming up. I can tell a couple of reasons, as I already talked about. But I'm very curious as to if this has any other uh, symbolism or, uh, I don't know, even just specific meaning for the rest of my weekend. So, uh, don't, 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 I'll let you know if it does. Um, oh, on another note, happy birthday, Danielle. Woohoo! Celebrate. Uh, celebrate uh, righteously and lovely, and God loves you so much. So excited to have you around. And the question of the day is... Hmm, let's talk about correcting injustice. What's your favorite moment of correcting injustice in your life? Whether it happened when you were a little kid, or in high school, or now, or yesterday, or tomorrow. Tell me about your superhero moment. Whether it was even just writing a simple wrong or a grand one. Alright? Let me know. Holler at me. Anecdotes galore. Happy Sabbath, Muslims, Jews, Seventh-day Adventists, anybody else. Bye.